Hi scientific audience, how are you all? So today I am going to discuss about this very tiny and beautiful instrument which is called spherometer and this spherometer is used to measure the radius of curvature of any spherical surface. It can be a football, it can be a small ball, it can be this watch glass. So today I am going to measure the radius of curvature of this watch glass and this watch glass is a very small section of a big sphere correct so it's a huge sphere from which we have cut a small piece of glass and this is a small part of the big sphere so it will have the same radius of curvature of the entire sphere so i want to measure the radius of curvature of this using this spherometer right but before we move ahead let us understand the parts of the spherometer spherometer is just like the micrometer screw gauge so here is our micrometer screw gauge correct and this micrometer screw gauge has two parts correct and if you watch to if you want to understand about this in detail the links are already given in the description please check that so this is the main scale this is the circular scale in the same way this is the circular scale correct and this is our main scale so this main scale is again in millimeter just like the micrometer screw gauge so this main scale 0 to 5 are in millimeters over here 0 to 10 are in mm so this is 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 7 8 9 10 so this is our main scale in mm and this is our circular scale which has got 100 divisions so this is 0 10 20 30 till 90 and back again to the 100 right and over here also we have this with 100 divisions circular scale so both of them are identical instruments correct so let us understand first of all the parts and how does it function so there are basically the four legs one two three and the fourth leg this fourth leg is called the movable leg and i'll show you why and the other three legs are immovable legs they are fixed legs you can't move them right and this one can move up and down vertically in up and down direction now ideally it should be an error free instrument which means zero of the circular scale and the zero of the main scale must coincide when these four legs are touching this horizontal surface so when all the four legs touch the horizontal surface at that time the zero of the circular scale and the zero of the main scale if they are coinciding that means it's an error free instrument now let me show you okay so now this is an error free spherometer that i have and as you can see that all the four legs are touching this horizontal surface and i had already shown you that the zero of the main scale and the circular scale were already matching and how do you how do you know that this is perfectly touching so i have a small piece of paper correct like this one and I'm going to pass through it like this one and since it is not passing through it so I can say that it's a it's a, all the four legs are touching the horizontal surface now if you look carefully if I start moving this in anti-clockwise direction that means like this then the circular scale you want you may just want to pay attention here that this circular scale starts going up in the positive y direction and the leg also starts lifting up the leg which was movable leg and just the opposite if i try to move this in the clockwise direction this is clockwise direction this would again go down circular scale and the leg would go down circular scale if it is moved along the clockwise direction then the leg would go down so let me bring it back to its its main position yes now i would rather recheck yes all the four legs are touching and zero and zero are matching with each other Now let me explain to you what do you mean by pitch. So 
this circular scale if i move it in the anti clockwise direction by 100 divisions or one complete turn you will be seeing that this circular scale will be moving in the vertically upward direction correct so it will be traveling some linear distance along y direction that is called pitch so if i give a full turn of 100 divisions you will see that this entire scale circular scale will move up by 1 millimeter that can be seen from here right now it is 0 mm so if i give one complete turn in the anti clockwise direction this is from 0 to back again 0 right and it is touching the 0 mark over here it was touching the 0 mark over here now if you look carefully it has gone up by some distance and let me show you it is very well visible that this circular scale was at 0 now it is touching 1 mm still if you are a bit confused and not able to see the readings over here you can give actually 5 turns and you will see that it will rise up by 5 millimeters so we have already given one turn now let me give this a, the anti-clockwise flip so this is the second anti-clockwise turn third fourth fifth so i started with zero and i am again on zero and five complete rotations and now you can see that this circular scale has gone up by 5 mm so the distance after 5 complete rotations is 5 mm so that means if you move this by one rotation it will go up by 1 mm so that is what is meant by pitch yes it does not matter if you give the clockwise twist or anti-clockwise twist just after one rotation how many mm linear distance is the circular scale traveling is referred as pitch.